What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 179 of Ghost Fuck You and Night. Your Mom of Ghost in the Night. A paranormal and true crime, true crime. I can't even speak. A paranormal and true crime podcast. Thank if you, you like listening to people talk about people getting murdered while also making jokes about how crusty their buttholes are and how much it hurts when they pee, you're you've come to the right place. My yes. name is Travis. I am the pretty one and the stupid one and this is dr philip Anya. the real pretty one he's here to make buttholes expand due to strictly anticipation and joy yes but tonight we are diving... brought to you by we don't know what we're, we're brought brought to you by us fuck you we're not what brought... else do you need we're not brought to you by anybody we will not be bought by the corporations. The oh, revolution will not be televised. Only because they do not want us. That is why we are not bought by corporate media. All right. Tonight we are doing Michael Aquino and the Temple of Set. Set. We're getting satanic. Satanic. We are going to hell tonight. Satan. Yes. I wonder if this is where the fucking the fake meat came from. The vegan meat. It's like Satan. It's, 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 I mean, you could easily say Satan. I don't know if it's actually pronounced that. I don't know. But it's vegan meat. Therefore, uh, Satan uh, is a uh, Satan. Yes. Oh. As they would say on the 10 minute podcast, bring hashtag bring back 10 men pod. I'm so sick of it. I hate that. It's not a thing. Well, we can make this a 10 minute podcast. Hell, we can't even get through 10 minutes of anything. We try to get every the, once in a while. We, we try to get off. the outro to about five minutes and it. <laughs> for half and we an just hour. totally fuck it off for about half a fucking hour. All right, like I said, we're doing on Michael Kino now. Satanism, Satanism is a com complicated topic, and most God fearing Christians won't even discuss the topic, or they just get really freaking pissy about the whole thing, and they always toe the toe the company line, and basically to say you're going to hell. It's mm. one of those if you don't think like us and you don't believe what we believe, you are screwed. And Go fuck yourself. You're burning in hell. Which I think, honestly, I think is a lot of the problem with today's society. I mean, look at today's society. Not mm -hmm. to get political or anything, but nobody can have a different fucking opinion. And if somebody disagrees with you, they're automatically the enemy. Whatever happened to agreeing to disagree? Travis? Well, I say this shit all the time because I always end up being the fucking, the one that has something slightly different to say about something politically than a lot of the people around here because of the area we live in and they're like oh well uh, if i say something anti-trump they're like oh fucking obama i'm like i didn't vote for him either dick knows you they're fucking all, idiot not everything not everything's left or right not everything's black or white 98 percent of the shit that goes on is in the gray it's all shades of gray baby and all you're just gray. stupid enough to take the fucking pill yes and go it, it's all right because that guy said it, and everything that the other guy says is wrong. Right. Even though I don't, give, wrong. I don't give a fuck if you're Democratic or Republican. They want the same goddamn thing. It's just how they go about getting it. Control, control, control. You fucking sheeple. The world, it's 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 it's, it's run by sheeple, Phil. I think so. I I don't disagree. I and they, not... they tried to cancel me Whoa. and they tried they tried to cancel infowars.net and they can't do it. Well, they did. Well, he's still going. I I miss old Alex Jones. I don't know how to it, I say it all the time. I don't have to agree with somebody to find them entertaining. Like I can think you're a fucking asshole and still find you entertaining. I think Michael Jackson diddled little kids, but beat it still dope. Only because of Eddie Van Halen. Uh, well, I mean, Michael Jackson had a lot of good mirrors. Or a lot of good songs. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. All right. Or STP. Oh. Or not STP. Uh, PYT, Pretty Young Thing. If you're singing along, it, it, this is a life lesson to all our listeners. If you're listen, singing along to the song PYT by Michael Jackson, and he says... I wanted to love you. And when they go PYT, if you don't hop forward onto your left leg, plant, and then triple toe tap behind you with your other leg, 50s fucking and 60s soul on stage style, PYT, pretty young thing, then you're a sack of shit, you're going to hell, and your mom probably doesn't love you. 
All good possibility. This is know. what it is. I guess. All right. According, what? Let's start with the obvious. What is Satanism? Do you know? It's Christianity for Satanists. I have the Wikipedia version in front of us. Oh. This ought to be good. That's always the best. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, Satanism is a group of ideological and philosophical beliefs based on Satan. That's not fucking broad as shit. Oh, what's up, Moon? What's up, Moon? I haven't, haven't seen you in a yeah, while. I haven't seen Moon in a while. But oh, let's let hi, we're Wikipedia. What let's be as broad as the fucking salt flats. Yes, shall we? We shall. Thank you, Jim. Next question, please. What is math? Math is putting stuff together and taking it apart. Hee <laughs> ski boy. Fuck you. Next question. Yeah, now, like we just said, the that definition of Satanism is not 100% accurate. It goes much deeper than just believing in an evil adversary to God or the fallen angel Lucifer or whatever. It goes much deeper than that. Most practicing Satanists... Is it deeper? Yeah. Of course. If you really want to know the truth, most practicing Satanists, they don't, they're atheists. They don't believe in God. It's mainly just a pushback on modern or organized religion or the fear-based organized religion which but you're still falling you're still falling into place in a theological uh uh addendum if you will but they don't like you're still if you're atheist you're still going with a theistic belief system and f if, and adapting adopting that as your belief system but or, I'm, I'm, or or claiming that but you get tagged or labeled a Satanist, but you're not. Oh, but, you're talking, okay, so, I thought right. you meant there was, like, atheists saying they're Satanists. Well, then you're not. Right. Uh, I mean, they don't even worship the devil, per se. The devil. They just, you know, basically, it's and somebody in uh, well, I mean, let's be real. Satanism is, is devotion to oneself. To, like, Aleister Crowley. To thy, to thy own self be true. Mm-hmm. You know, and to thine own self be true and write thine own shitty poetry and get shocked when you don't sell. Yes. Yes. And every man for himself. Very good point. But Satanism is more of a rebellion against organized religion. In some cases. I mean, not all cases. There are definitely, uh, how can I say, the traditional, the greatest fear of the church, you know, practicing satanists that worship lucifer that think the exact opposite of them they still atone to their own deities but they just worship the other team yeah well i mean but also let's be real the They're greatest the Pittsburgh Steelers were the Bengals. the greatest fear pit the what you want to try that again the Bengals. the pittsburgh they pittsburgh the pittsburgh pittsburgh that's, shut that's up that's what i fucking said okay so anyway Let's be. Let's break it down to bra brass tacks here. Really, um, and this isn't about Satanism. There's a really easy way to sum up the church's greatest fear, and that is free-thinking human beings that don't want to be told what to do by a book that was written by a bunch of people over a two thousand year period that has no fucking actual stake or actual reality in current reality. Well, the problem is Satan. You don't like your wife, beat her to death. Oh shit! We kill your slaves. Oh, I get. Looks like the fucking live stream's fucking up again. Oh fuck it! It'll be okay. I can stop re recording. Recording. Maybe. Maybe next time I won't record it. I'll just use the audio. Hmm. Anyway, Christianity. The problem with the whole thing is Christianity uses Satanism as an umbrella term. For if you don't, yeah. if you don't believe, if you're not with us, you're, you're this. Against, you're automatically labeled a Satanist. Yeah, which is a lazy, half-assed way to do things. Yeah. Because I don't uh, abide by everything they believe. Like I, we've talked about on this podcast a million times, and if you you listen to this podcast, you know it, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but we do get new listeners and viewers all the time. <clears throat> so we have... Sometimes. Obviously, we have more... Th we're already at our highest point ever. Right we now. Have, no, we've, we've well, broken we, that we've before. We've reached this. So that's right. We've reached this amount of viewership before. What was I saying? Well, I mean, like, just look at that's how religion works, though. They need a, a fucking half ass throwaway thing because it's always like, if it's not that, it's so why do I do this, Reverend? 
Because I fucking told you so because I read it out of the fucking book, Jerry. But the- Duh, you stupid idiot. What other questions do you have? Book says, I say you do, stupid. But the problem with it is when you label somebody a Satanist and an atheist, you would be labeled, hell, I would be labeled a Satanist because I don't completely believe everything that they teach. Yeah. I, you know, I'm smart enough and I think, you know, God gave me a brain, the God, whatever God is, I'll use mm-hmm. God as a blanket term. Uh, it's definitely not some bearded dude on a, on the mountaintop. I don't believe everything they teach per se. No. I believe there's a creator. I believe that something created and I believe there's an afterlife. Now, do I, like you've said, and we've said, I think last week, you know, I don't need a 2000 page book to tell me not to be a dick. Right. You know, it's like I said, who, who said it? There was a comedian. They, they, I think they it's said, Jim Jeffries. Yes. Four words, the Bible. Don't be a cunt. Done. But I do think the Bible does have some wonderful stories to live your life by. And then it does, like you said, have a few things that are a little antiquated. Yeah, like he's literally little, women are your property. Human beings can be your property. Uh, yeah, like just those two alone. Fuck off. But the problem, the best thing in the, the best thing in the Bible is turning water into wine. I'd prefer beer, but if I could turn water into wine, I'd guess be, who's a wine connoisseur? I'd be a Fucking, millionaire. Guess who has two thumbs and loves Pinot Grigio? This person. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, let me switch. Go back to this screen. Uh, but when you label everybody that doesn't believe your or take part in your belief system or and don't believe the way you believe, and you label them, a they're Satanist, wrong, and you hate them. You you label them as Satanists. You are doing more damage than good because it's hypocritical. Just because somebody to label somebody that and is an atheist that has no does not believe in oh I got a sunburn sorry doesn't believe in any kind of actual i'm going Go on. To, i'm going to stop i hope this i'm going to try something i'm going to stop this recording here uh would the, wouldn't we lose audio recording then no i'm doubling up oh are we Ta-da. fuck yeah dude daddy is on it tonight oh daddy um and then i'm going to jump into that someone in the chat said that uh the bible is a life map for dummies I'm a, I'm a kind and just God, if you will. I give religion its do whatever the fuck you want to call it. Right. If it helps you get through the day, more power to you. It's not my life to live. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. But I also say all the time, and all the religious people that I've talked to of different religions have agreed with me, all the different holy books preach as far as the good stuff preach the same thing it's all the ins and outs within that that are fucking off and stupid right like and if you think about it they're all different and we go to war over the shit but they all say the same thing like christians don't like gay people traditionally like if you're bible thumper hardcore right catholics don't like gay people muslims don't like gay people I don't know how Hindus feel about gay people. I'll be honest about that one. Never looked into that one. I don't know either. But across the board, gay, bad. Yet another inkling of it's all the same shit. Right. And notice none of this shit was a thing until man was a thing. So if it was only a thing while we were a thing, what the fuck happened before this? Life. Was God sitting there? It was that what it was? Was it, it was really like Jurassic Park? Like God was just playing dinosaurs? I think so. And he was like, he's just sitting there like, Barr. like the sharp tooth eats the fucking long neck. Yes, that's exactly what God was doing. And then the, what? There's just aliens sitting there eating popcorn. No, aliens aren't real because if you believe in aliens, they're demons. Just like ghosts are demons. And everything that's not a human or a godly creature made in the eyes of God is a demon. Up your nose with a rubber hose. Go but, but everything fuck was, off. But everything was made by God. So, Joe, Pope John Paul anyway. II was a cuck. Anyway, Christians believe practicing magic is a makes you a witch, and of course, witches are satanic. Gay caveman. <gasps> caveman. Oh, I'm sure the first caveman, you know. 
twiddle some buttholes every now and then. You had you had, you you had to think experimentation. You got you, to do it. Yeah. You'd uh, think he'd be like Krug like Krug like put skin skin thing in hole. Him Krug Kronk also have hole. Krug put skin thing in Kronk hole. Kronk not like. But the pro <laughs> Kronk cry. Like I was saying. <laughs> Christians believe if you practice any kind Kronk of... scream like dying rabbits. If you practice any kind of magic, you're a witch, and witches, witches are satanic, witches are of the devil. But here's my problem with this. Christianity is full of rituals and fucking magic. Praying is a form of magic. You are asking a divine entity to help you or help somebody to bless your food, whatever. Help them you out or them out or bless your food or whatever. Praying is a magical practice. Yeah. You're asking help from a higher power. Oh, and while we're talking about this, somebody is voicing their opinions on Jesus and God and everything in the chat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw this one out there now. I make my jokes and stuff like that, but I do, you know, when somebody's like, I believe in this. I'm like, cool, man. It's not my thing, but cool. Now, while we're on the subject for future reference, so it doesn't possibly come up a problem. This shit does not turn into an argument in live chat. Right. I've seen it happen on All other right. on other YouTube videos. I like I I we will we're not getting into arguments over stupid shit. That's not what we're here for. It, we are here to uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh have fun. Have fun and we're here to verbally masturbate. To uh respectfully and eloquently agree to disagree on things that's what makes an interesting fixed situation is when people can have different different right, views from one another but that doesn't mean that person a is a fucking piece of shit because they don't believe the same thing as person b right sorry you, i don't you know i i agree completely um but the hypocrisy of christianity is what aggravates me to no death there is Abundance of rituals in Christianity. Mm -hmm. They have more rituals prayer. than prayer. Um, communion mm -hmm. is a ritual. You are taking in the body of Christ. I like, you know, if you, I do. Baptism. Baptism. It's all rituals. It's all from the same Genesis, essentially. Not the Bible of Genesis. The band. The, yes. Phil Collins created it all. You heard it here first, folks. We, we've cracked we've cracked the code that man's been trying to figure out for thousands of years. Phil Collins is God and Genesis albums. If you read the little pamphlet on the inside of the CD or the album, if you're you know, if you're a classy like that, that is the word of God. So it so it is drummed. So it shall be. Shut up. So let it be written. So let it be done. On a left-handed drum set. Right. What was I fucking saying? Oh, God. And if Genesis is if Genesis is the word of God, the band Wing, no. or Wings, is the, the is Satan. Oh, I'm for, I firmly believe the Beatles were Satanists. Could you imagine how funny that'd be, though? Like, being there for that shit? They're just in there like, oh, we invoke the old, old high power, old Lord Satan. For Come one, down to Liverpool and show us your power so we shall take over the world and make all the high school girls around the world get all soggy in their knickers. Here's my problem. I said knickers like pants, just to fucking clarify. Here's my problem with the Beatles. If you're going to be a, take the time and have the talent to be a freaking rock star, John Lennon, you're an asshole. I don't actually like Genesis, just so everybody knows. John Lennon's an asshole. You married the ugliest woman on the planet. Ooh, do you like me round glasses? I mean, if I had that kind of fame and power, I sure the fuck ain't married. He was an asshole when he had a kid and, and when he had a son and named him Sean. My name is John Lennon. This is my son, Sean. I'm a broke Fuck ass. Fuck you. That's I'm, I'm a broke ass podcaster, and I would still not hook up with somebody that ugly. Yoko Ono? Yes. Yoko, oh, hell no. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, so getting back to Satanism. Well, 
<laughs> getting back to Satanism. Getting back to the old roots. Uh, Why do I start to sound like a fucking millennial version of the Dukes of Hazard narrator? Hazzard. Well, the old Duke boys found themselves in a heap of trouble again. Roscoe P. Coltrane ain't playing that fuck shit. They're going down hard and they're getting butt fucked in the slammer. Yes. Now, Stick it down, 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 down. Everybody's heard of Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan. He looked like a, a gay porn star. Yeah. I'm just going to say it. But honestly, so did this guy. Everybody, this guy's eyebrows can go fuck themselves. Yes, I will go on a rant on that in a little bit. But the most, a lot of people have not heard of Michael Aquino. Mm -hmm. which in my opinion is i mean i didn't know much about him i i, I still don't because once once you bring up a sorry once you bring up a topic that like i've heard i had heard the name i knew uh, somewhat what he, what the lore not the lore but i i had i knew somewhat who he was supposed to be but that's why i don't know anything more than that because once you bring up a topic that you want to do that i don't know anything about i'm like ooh, this is a good opportunity for me to have some funsies yes now, so I just sit here and I just, oh, oh, fuck. Now, tell me stuff about the scene. Let's get into Michael Aquino and who he was. Oh, I'm going to get into him. All right. We, uh, let's dive into his early life. Curling those goddamn fucking eyebrows. As soon as I saw that, I was like, you're an asshole. We'll get to it. Wait for it. If you have these eyebrows, guess what? First things first, you're an asshole. I mean, he is a very fat. Everybody's heard of the satanic panic, right? You've heard great band yeah yes he is one of the big players in this uh michael kino was born uh, on october 16th 1946 in san francisco california hmm. now he is dead apparently good his death is what well, it's kind of hard to find an actual date but it appears he that he sneezed too hard and stab himself with his eyebrow and bleed out in his fucking bathroom probably. taking a shit probably watching like fucking sesame street anime porn on his phone Yes, it it's probably a BlackBerry that fucking sack of shit. But it appears he passed away sometime in June of 2020. So probably COVID got him. <laughs> got everybody else. Uh, <laughs> but he was he was born to Michael Aquino Senior, who was a military who was in the military and served under General or under Patton the third his third army. I don't World know. Why I did a Churchill face, but I did. And uh, his father was given the purple ha purple heart after. Uh, being injured in combat. Okay, sidebar. Are people, do you think that it's mostly people wanting to pass on their name when they can name their son a junior? Or are they just uncreative bastards? Um, uncreative, but there is something about. I'm, I mean, I'm all for it, but I feel like there's been plenty of people that were just like, I don't know, Margaret. I do not know. I think there is something to the fact that. Uh, mm, Passing on more than just your surname. I wonder if he's born with those eyebrows. I don't give a he, fuck what you name him. Just name him something. Look at the fucking guy. He looks like a shitty wannabe Pokemon. He's ready to just go fucking balls deep in his own self. I have an answer to that question. Yeah. According to him, he had always had those kind of eyebrows. Yeah. Really? Yes. Did he? Yes. Yeah. Mm, According okay. to him. But anyway. Yeah. And I was born with a fucking 18 inch foxtail butt plug coming out of my asshole. Would not surprise me. Hashtag uh, facts. His uh, mother was Marion Dorothy Elizabeth Ford. Marion. She was a. Uh, also, fuck you if you have four names. Yes. She was a <laughs> super, super, super smart lady. And so she was a witch. Michael Kino was actually very intelligent as well. As well. She was a witch then. No. Smart women are witches, right? No, no that's not how that works. That's what, the, that's what the Jesus tells us. Well, that's not what Jesus says, but that's what Massachusetts told us yes. for about uh, seven years. After three years of formal education, she was admitted and she enrolled and was admitted admitted to Stanford University at the age of fourteen. Uh, she is one of the youngest students ever to be admitted to Stanford. Huh. at fourteen, at four, fucking teen. She was the Doogie Howser before Doogie Howser, and this was probably in the thirties, twenties, thirties. I was going to say he early nineteen hundreds. He was born in 46, so late 30s, early 40s, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, no, if she was in, if she was let in at 14. Right. But people got married back, you know. It was before 19. Yeah, that's true, I guess. It was probably somewhere around in the 30s, I would imagine. I didn't get, I should have. Uh, God, that was back in the good old days when the fucking Ivy League football teams used to fight each other and fucking try to stab each other with, I don't know, protractors. Yes. Uh, or compasses. Which one? It was a compass that had the little pencil on it, right? 
Yes. Protractor so, was the fucking the half half a pie. I think so. The one that you'd fucking ninja start at your friends. Yes. Now, uh, Michael. The one that you fucking put your hands through and you closed it and you were like, oh, yeah, you yeah, like brass knuckles. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, Even right. though back in your day they were probably made out of wood or like it's carved out of stone. Eat all the dicks. Anyway, uh, Michael got <laughs> got things from both of them. I've, he had an illustrious military career that we will cover. And he was super intelligent. Yeah, because I saw pictures of this motherfucker while I was making the we'll thumbnail in military garb with the eyebrows. We'll get into this. You're immediately kicked out of my military. Get the <laughs> we'll fuck out of here. You're not allowed to have bayonets on your face, fuck face. Right, we'll get into this. Um, Michael Kino graduated from the University of California, Santa Barbara with a BA in political science. He got his MA in 1976 and his PhD in 1980. Now, is that B.A. Um, the Mr. T version or the Rampage Jackson version? I don't know why I put up with you sometimes. Either way, it's, it's racist. Yes. So he was yeah, obviously. Cal, you, you, Cal, is out, Cal Santa Barbara is just out here giving away famous black males. Yeah, so obviously he was a smart dude, man. There's no getting around it. He was a smart dude. <laughs> and he put the work in, which is very, I mean, you, they just don't give out PhDs unless you're president. Mm. You have to work for that shit. Oh yeah, it takes more dedication than I have. Unless you're like fucking a, a famous actor, where they get like the honorary PhD. But I do have a piece of uh, information that proves that shit's going to go downhill for him. Excellent. In his later in his life, he was also a member of the Eagle Scouts Honor Society. <clears throat> Nerd. Foreshadowing. Nerd. Okay. Now, like we said earlier, he had an. Uh, an amazing military career. Uh, he wouldn't. You wouldn't think a man this balls deep into Satanism would actually be successful in the military. Like you said, the, his appearance does not scream military. He looked like fucking what's his tits? That wrestler. Fuck. What was his name? Gangrel. No. No. Kevin. Kevin. Uh, fuck. I know we need Gonzo here. Uh, he he had the whole satanic um, spiel. He had what's her fuck with him, the lady that went crazy. Uh, God damn it. I don't think of it. Move on. All right. Where was I at? <laughs> okay. Something about his eyebrows. Oh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that there, actually reminded you. I, he was in the military and in the reserves up until, I think, 2006. And you can go on YouTube and find him. He was on, He made an appearance on Oprah Winfrey. So in the eighties, did he get a brand new car too? <laughs> no, he, no. They were and fu- you get eyebrow gel, <laughs> and you get eyebrow gel. And he had, you know, the what you would think would be the classic Satanist look: black hair, you know, Eddie Munster looking kind of shit <laughs> with the fucking pointy eyebrows. I mean, to think he, that would be military acceptable, I wouldn't think so. But like the fact that nobody shoved was, a fucking frag grenade up his asshole, right? Uh, modern thinking and opinions have forced people to picture some weird-looking individuals living on the fringe of the society. That is what. People so this think. guy. That is what you think um, of when you think of Satanists. But let's practicing Satanists can look and often look just like you and me, like the they're, video. They're professionals and all that happy shit. Uh, sure, there are some that. Do dress in black all the time and kind of have the goth look or whatever it's called now. Uh, or look like Damien Eccles. There's different versions of it now. Apparently there's goth, there's scene, there's emo, right. there's... But that is not a hard, fast rule. All, the, it, Anybody that, can... all of them were just weird when I was a kid. And I'm allowed to say that because I was the one right. wearing the fucking metal t-shirts and shit with the long hair. Right. So Fuck he, you, society. Outside of really funky eyebrows... <laughs> he did appear somewhat normal. This fucking guy would point his eyebrows and then wear a suit. Yes. Now Eat he, a dick. If you're going to do that, you need to at least have a pocket square that is folded in two little triangles that comes out on side to side on your fucking chest pocket. Yes. I Matchy. Think, I think you are correct. I'm not sure. Okay, we are still recording. I wonder if he had like fucking cufflinks that were like just models of his eyebrows. And that's how... That's how he finished off his look. Probably. Mm-hmm. But He's anyway. a cock. He started his military career in 1968. He rose to the rank of lieutenant freaking colonel. Mm. 
That's pretty fucking high up there. Colonel. Um, I think Oliver North was a lieutenant colonel. Can somebody please explain to me how the spelling of colonel makes sense? Colonel. Colonel. But know. there's corn kernels. That one makes sense. K E R N E L. Good point. But no, colonel. Okay. Salute the colonel. I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, but he did serve in Viet since he, we're talking 1968. He did serve in Vietnam. Uh, Kino was high up in, in involved. No, 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 no. Vietnam. 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 Or if you want to be really politically, Vietnam. No, Vietnam. Vietnam. Hey. Anyway. We Aquino tickle was, your land and we tickle your soy plants. Aquino was high up and heavily involved in the psychological warfare programs of the U.S. military. No shit, because his face had fucking hair dowsing rods hanging off of it. Yes. Now, he had a, a, a very interesting military education. In 1968, he uh, went to... Uh, the JFK Special Warfare Center at Fort Bragg and went to school for physical, well, psychological operations. Uh, 68, he also went to Fort Benning to become an airborne paratrooper. Take that course. Uh, I wonder if he knew Jimi Hendrix. No, Jimi Hendrix was way before that. Yes. Uh, he also went to Fort Bragg and was in the Special Forces Green Beret course. The motherfucker Green was a Green Beret, Beret apparently. Uh, he was, a lot of Green Beret talk these, the last couple of weeks. Yes, he was very decorated in his military so- service. Yeah, it's mostly his eyebrows. Yes, uh, he in 1970. Think he had a medal for the best eyebrows. No, they do not have that. RuPaul uh, doesn't even have eyebrows like that. 1970, he won the Bronze Star, which is given for uh, heroic achievement. 1970, also he <laughs> won the Air Medal, which is awarded for single acts of heroism. In 68. And 90 National Defense Service Medal awarded to anyone who has served on active duty or uh, active reserves in during a basically conflict. Basically, I think in in 68 and 90, that's a fucking long stretch. First Gulf War, yeah, but still, that's fucking 22 he, years. But he was still in the military. He, military, the military, he was in the military till like 2006, and then in the reserves, even after that, I believe. Yeah, but you're active in 90, yes, being active, yes. By your time you're a lieutenant colonel, you're not fucking a grunt. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, I'm actively telling people what to do. He got, let's see, uh, uh, three Vietnam service medals. God which, damn. Which basically means he was there in, in Vietnam. So basically what you're saying is he didn't have a, a a like dress suit when he got out of the military. He just had a suit of armor that was made out he, of all these medals. I'm sure he wasn't the most decorated soldier that ever came out of the military but uh, you know that's pretty impressive for what you think of a satanist when who believes in what he believes in i'm just shocked because like strictly because of his eyebrows yes a man with with that facial feature you don't expect much from he was uh like we said he spent most of his time in the psychological warfare department uh he was responsible for writing a document that acted like an instruction manual for the military and government psyop program did you write it with his eyebrows no Get off the dip, fucking eyebrows. They dip Get it in, off the fucking they eyebrows. Dip it in ink like the quill. If when when he stops fucking making his eyebrows look like that, I'll the, get he's off dead. It. So they don't look like that anymore. Good. Um, in 2013, he wrote a book called Mind War. Uh, this book was based on the manual that he wrote or document that he wrote while he was in the military. The book goes into the psychological or psycholo- psychology of shapes, hypnotism, colors, and even false flag operations. Hmm. The colors. book even states in, they studied shooting ion particles into the atmosphere, which can affect people in different ways, confusion, anger, and lethargy. The mili- military could do this. Basically, they wanted to do this to affect people, h- how soldiers were acting on the battlefield, to hit their enemies and make them lethargic and shit like that. However, a gay bomb? Yes. That was a thing. I'm sure it was. It kind of reminds me of what happened in Cuba. Recent, not well, not recently, but a couple of years ago, on the embassy, mm, yeah. they all started hearing crickets and yeah. you know, people started, you know, getting getting sick, having nausea and shit like that. And some are even having actual prolonged effects from this. So, did they know, get rickets? Yes. <laughs> Aquino states in this book that basically what the government is doing is magic. 
Now, this might be a stretch in my opinion, let's be honest. It's called tech technology. Maybe a little magic, you know, and manifestation sprinkled in there, but it's basically just magic. Or not, it's just technology, not necessarily magic. Mm-hmm. It's not magic that we are broadcasting to at least five people. Yeah, we, we're kind of falling off here. Well, we're losing people. It's all your fucking eyebrow talk. Hey, it's in the chat now. What? Eyebrow talk. When you, his eye it's not my fault. Him. It's not my fault that his fucking eyebrows look like that. You could break them bitches off and fucking plant them into the ground or set up your tent. But what he's saying is the the government was into some paranormal shit, and this mm. has been documented. Mm. Remote viewing. Go into the... Do- oh, well, yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to talk about like some shit that... Like some other shit. Well, they've looked like, at- Oh, the government has pictures of fucking the devil sitting in a chair smoking a cigarette talking about stuff maybe who knows that'd be interesting I'd, I'd, I'd watch that video but i and we might even do it again i've done a uh episode on remote viewing which is a fascinating they went balls deep into remote viewing now Excuse me. whether or not it was just a sigh up against the russian to make the russian think we were going into it but you know there's a movie about it what the men who, uh, men fan, who stare at goats yeah fantastic george clooney fucking movie I love that movie. I'm, I it's hate, hilarious. I'm not a big George Clooney fan. I mean, I'm not the huge. I like George Clooney. But that but movie's funny. There is documentation. Shut up. There is documentation that the government does do research into paranormal shit. And they probably still do. The government does research into everything. Right. <clears throat> now, let's get down to the Satan shit. Satan. Now, he did uh, join the Church of Satan in 1969. Satan. Short, right after he, uh, I guess, got out of boot camp, probably. But before he went to Vietnam. Now, how he met La- L- Anton LaVey is kind of interesting. It's a fascinating story. Uh, Akina went to the movies to see Rosemary's Baby. Have you ever seen Rosemary's Baby? I've not seen that. Is it fucked up? I mean, it's, yeah, it's not. Especially back then, yeah, it was probably, it would be it was probably really crazy. To now, me, it's, you know. According to the story, Aquino basically says he was going to the theater, walk, was walking up to the theater, and coming out was Anton LaVey and a group of members of the Church of Satan. Do you think that uh, Anton LaVey was one of those, like, w- took a note from the Asian community back in the day? I, I feel like that man was the kind of guy that wore long sleeves all the time that were really baggy, and he tucked each hand into each sleeve, and he walked with his arms interlaced in front of him at all times. I don't know. Tell me you would be surprised if you found that out. I wouldn't. I really don't care. I I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. He looks like A-Train's anorexic little brother. Okay. We'll go with that. But he told... uh, You know who A-Train is? I have no fucking clue. Albert. From he used to wrestle back in the day, Prince Albert. Did they call him Prince Albert? I think so. The, the guy, big, the big, big bald guy, guy, big burly guy with hair all over. Yeah, him bald head. Yeah, and had piercings, piercings everywhere. Yeah, yeah he changed it, his name to A Train after a while. Well, he was Prince Albert during the Attitude Era. Hmm. Mm, that means two things. And I th- oh, they, that's one reason why I did it because apparently he had a Prince Albert. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that's a big motherfucker. We're not going to get into what a pre- Prince Albert is. It's a wiener piercing. Oh, things just got funny. That's all you need to know. Oh, now my nuts hurt. They do not make a stud small enough. All right. Anyway, so getting back to how he met uh, Anton LaVey. He was going up to, to this theater. As he was walking up, Anton was coming out with his some of his followers. Uh, he kind of looked kind of interesting, dressed in all black like most Satanists of the time did. It's so stereotypical. Right. Uh, apparently, Aquino asked... The uh, ticket taker or somebody working at the counter, who was that? And I don't know. Does this work normally? What? Does it like pick up my voice normally? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it Not does. quite right. Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, it I does. like this. Then you can see my beautiful face. We'll go with that. But he asked the ticket taker or somebody working at the counter who that dude was. And the guy said that was. Who, the, who that boy? That was Anton LaVey of the Church of Satan. Who and, him is? And the. Uh, Ticket t- taker said he left a card. Here, take the card. He left a card yeah, with Anton. the ticket taker at the movie theater. Well, you gotta, what the fuck you, are we talking we about here? We want to fucking print out cards and hand them out. Why would I mean, the, why yeah, but the Church of we'll, Satan do the same thing? Yeah, but he oh, personally yeah, did Speaking it? of that, I forgot. We had business to take care of. 
Oh, yeah, we do. We have a new patron. We do. Just, Jessica C., who is actually in She here. was in the chat. I don't know she if she was in the chat. She was viewing earlier. Uh, but we'll thank see. you so much. I We will do it better uh, Wednesday. For the, what the fuck Wednesday? We'll give her much yes. more acknowledgement. But anyway, back back to what I was talking about. He got the card. So a few days later, apparently, he went to the Black House, which the famous Black House of <laughs> Anton LaFay, which uh, Ghost Adventures investigated there. In, it's in San Francisco. But he, as he walked through the door, he saw a sign that basically said, uh, if you don't have an appointment, appointment, don't ring the damn bell. So he did not have an appointment, so he did not ring the bell. Hmm. That's, Good man. Hey, he follows orders. He, he was in the military. He can follow fucking orders. So he left. And Don't touch the fucking doorbell, Jake. He left. It's not funny, bro. And a short time later, he attended a convention or a talk where LeVay was speaking. Hmm. And he actually got to meet LeVay. Uh, I think it was about a year later. But him and LeVay hit it off, and they seemed to like each other, and he joined the Church of Satan shortly thereafter. Okay. Interesting. And, you know, it's a hell of a, ha a happenstantial situation. Right. I mean, for all, whatever you think about Aquino, he was dedicated and driven. A driven to person. everything that he ever did, apparently. So he jumped in balls deep on this shit. Balls yeah. deep, baby. And Aquino rose through the ranks of the Church of Satan fairly quickly and did a good job, apparently. But there are several. In 1969, he got the Satanist one degree. 69 warlock two degree 1970 the priest of mendez the third degree uh got the fourth degree in 1971 which is a master magister carnivorny caverny 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 and in 1973 got the master templi which is the fourth or the fifth degree or whatever fourth degree oh no sounds like a lot of devil magic to me personally but apparently that last one in 73 is not very many people who can get to that basically mm. He was the right hand man of Anton, Anton LeVay. LeVay. And he was basically second in command. Hmm. Now, after he returned from Vietnam, the army stationed him in Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, being a priest in the Church of Satan, he uh, started recruiting for the Church of Satan in Kentucky. I believe it was Lexington, wherever. Uh, look at, maybe it was Fort Knox he was at, which is close to Lexington, I think. I don't know. But followers would meet at his home. So he was, he was building his little cult, satanic church branch there. I think they called them grottos. Manifest destiny. Yes. Now, Aquino, like I said, was the second in con charge, basically, of, of the Church of Satan. Uh, he wrote a lot of the literature, a lot of the ritual work for the church. It was all him. He sounded like he did a lot of the work, and LeVay was just the, the face. It Isn't that how it always works, though? There's always that one person that does all the shit, and then there's always that one person that just fucking takes credit for it. Right. Uh, now, he got to remember, Akina was still in the military. <laughs> I.e., this podcast. <laughs> Akina was still in the mil military at all this time. He, and one thing that he did do, which kind of answers the question. That Answer you, the fucking question right he, now. I need it. He is responsible for getting Satanism recognized by the military as a religion. By the military? By the military. Interesting. That's a, that's a good thing to have on your Satanist resume. Hey, yeah. Now, as you probably gather from the title of this live stream or episode, it's called The Temple Set. Obviously, things did not work out with Anton. They, yeah. they agreed to disagree and broke up. The love affair did not last very long. In 1975, Aquino felt that LaVey had and the Church of Satan were becoming a little bit hypocritical, and they started having different philosophies about the direction in which Satanism and the Church of Satan should go. Like the video. Isn't that how all this shit always right. goes, though? Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, LeVay was more of an atheist than a Satanist. He, you know, they did not necessarily believe in a devil, the Church of Satan. It was more atheism and rebellion. You think he just went with Satanism so he could have a, some, like, some type of a, a tax... Well, you break can make, or well, you can make any Scientology. You can make anything a fucking religion and get the tax break. We can make the Church of GIT. I, I can't believe that fucking Scientology is still recognized. Yes, well, Bill Burr is anything but a cult. Bill Burr's got a good bit about uh, 
you know, how wacky Satan or uh, Scientology is. And then he started talking about, you know, Christianity and, you know, immaculate conceptions and all that. It's pretty much just as crazy as. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of a funny bit. Uh, let's see, where was I? Yeah, LeVay was not really a Satanist. He was more of an atheist, just rebelling against uh, organized religion. Basically, all the Church of Satan was. He felt Satan was more of a symbol of strength and defiance against organized religion. Aquino was more of a believer in the spiritual entity of Satan at this time. And the other realms and demons and all that kind of happy shit. LeVay made... Here's where they really parted ways and where they what really sent Anton over the edge. Now, up to this point, you had to do the work to go through the uh, degrees of the Church of Satan. LeVay got a little money, money hungry, apparently. and As actually, will happen. He wanted to make these degrees and all this work. Cut out the middleman and just take money for it. You could buy a priesthood in the Which Church of Satan. Which is fucking ridiculous. This went against everything that Aquino believed and he wanted people to actually do the work and be good little worker bees. Yes, exactly. Good point. Now he LeVay wanted him to post his Aquino wrote the newsletter for the Church of Satan and LeVay wanted him to He's post He's like the nerdy kid in high school. Yes, he wanted him to <clears throat> excuse me, post this in the newsletter. And Aquino said, I ain't doing it because it's horse shit. Eat my dick, ass face. Yes. Now at this point is where he said, I got you to go. I'm stepping G2G. out. G2G. Stepping out. And apparently, he wasn't the only one that felt this way. There was kind of a divide in the Church of Satan at this time. And many of the members of the Church of Satan agreed with Aquino and left with Aquino. Then they left and formed what is now called the Temple of the Set. Now, in 1975, the Temple of the Set was formed. Aquino wanted to find a true meaning to what the soul was. Aquino felt that Satanism was a name given to this entity by Christianity, which pissed him off as a first place. Didn't want to give Christianity any kind of props. If Christi He was going in the exact same direction as Christianity. If you ain't with us, you're against this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to back away from that. This Christianity gave Satan and Satanism a negative connotation, and he didn't feel it was negative. He's... And this is kind of interesting. It's no more negative than fucking Christianity. And it depends on your perspective. I kind of see what a lot of Satanists think, you know, oh. as Satan being the bringer of light. Yeah. You know, Lucifer means bringer of light. That in in the Garden of Eden, Satan brought knowledge that God did not want man to have knowledge. Satan wanted us to... That was a big faux pas on his part. He wanted to... You know, I see how people think, or Satanists believe Satan was actually kind of the good guy in the story. Yeah. He wanted to give us free will and give us choice and give us knowledge <clears throat> on how the world, world works and what to expect and all that. So I kind of see the point. I, whether it's true, I don't fucking know. I am not a theologian. They took, now, this is where it gets a little weird and where I get a little funky with this thing. According to Aquino, he was visited by what, at the time, before this vision, he said was Satan. But by the time the Satan, by the time this vision, or by this, the time the Satan came, this back. conversation was done. Basically, an entity came to him and explained to him, "Satan is not real. I am Satan. Satan is just the name, the bastardized name that they have given me." And this entity hmm. was the one true God. Hmm. And it was the ancient Egyptian God Set, hence the name Temple of Set. Huh. Interesting. Now, that is where I get, whenever you say something comes to you and talks to you, that's where you lose me a little bit. Now, if you want to say, hey, I had a thought, maybe this is it, I buy that a little bit more. Than saying, Set came to me and told me it's all bullshit. Well, I mean, it, all it is is a thought, but by saying that he heard it from another source, it just it makes it holy and above man's will and doing. Yeah. So, where, what, how are we looking on time? Oh, we're not bad. Uh, 
let's get into kind of the philosophy of the Temple oh. of Set and oh. magic rituals and stuff, because this is where they really separate from the Church of Satan, other than just the Set and Satan thing, which, in my opinion, he said, she said, who gives a shit? It's all same, same, as you like. I think that's say. in most people's opinions. <laughs> Whether you want to call it Set or Satan, whatever. There Satan. Are, there, Satan. There is, I've said it before, you can't have good without bad, you can't have good without evil you can't have light without dark right so whatever the entity is his name means nothing you can't have general Zao's chicken without fried rice right you can't have popeyes without fucking dry biscuits colonel sanders you gotta have both what you mean kfc what'd i say popeyes and colonel sanders kfc colonel sanders who in who created and franchised kfc colonel sanders exactly you said popeyes it's like Popeye's oh, and Colonel Sanders. Oh, I see what Sanders. you're saying. Both ends of the fucking saying. spectrum. I see what you're saying. You're Popeye's is better. Oh, absolutely. No argument for me. Where are the KFC soup, fucking soup kitchen, fried chicken. Now, the Temple Set puts an emphasis on the development of its followers as individuals. This is like in the chat they were talking about looking inward and developing yourself. Oh, now it's starting to get fucking warm back here. Oh, because we're smoking this shit, baby. We're smoking it. It's because the fire of the devil is live upon us. Or it could be these fucking bright-ass lights we got shining on us. I don't yeah, know. they probably ain't helping. Oh, shit. Yeah, this will be our first summer with these lights, won't we it? We might go back to the old style. Poor lit. Just go to straight audio. We'll just have a fucking black screen on our live stream. Or we'll turn off all the lights and just use the uh, night vision. That's an option. Anyway, uh, where was I at? The Temple Set wanted to focus more more internally, work on yourself, develop yourself. Uh, basically, become more like a lot of before become more godlike, and that is New Ageism is really about we, we are our own we are gods. gods. Yeah. Now, modern this isn't. I don't think this, in my interpretation of Christianity, also is not that far off. Yeah. Because, you know, you hear we are sons of, you know, in modern Christianity, we are the sons and daughters of God. Mm -hmm. God, we are made in his image. Mm -hmm. We have God in us. Same thing. So, depends on how far you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, it's not that we're arguing, we're splitting hairs on this one, in my opinion. I mean, are we usually? Yes. When it comes to religion. But even modern Christianity, you know, kind of sounds like you're godlike. We're all, we're all, we are all godlike. It's same, same to me. I hear the same thing. You're, you're, I hear the same thing when both say something, the same thing. I say that sentence, both sentences, I hear the same fucking thing. Anyway. Now, Aquino did teach his followers that. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, at that point, it's just an argument of verbiage. Right. But Aquino, you know, so... I don't think there's, my point is, I don't think Christianity and Satanism, or Temple of Set, I should say, is that far off. None of them are. Right. Now, Aquino did teach his uh, followers that there was an afterlife, and they could reach it if they had obtained a certain level of personal development, looking inward. They believe the name Satan is a mistranslation or a bastardization of Set, which is what uh, Set told old uh, Michael when he came to Miguel. shoot the shit with him. Set, like I said earlier, is a one true God. Set is responsible for giving humans their desire to question everything and search for answers, which is what humans do. We all we have to have an answer. There has to be a reason for everything. We also fucking suck. Yes. So set Satan, you know, the Garden of Eden story, if you look at it as knowledge, Set wanted to give knowledge. Satan wanted to give knowledge. Same, just a different name, in my opinion. You're you're gonna make a lot of people's heads explode with this information. Why? Because it's too. It's too. It makes too much sense. Why? Well, anyway. Okay, let's get into some of oh, where was it? The rituals. Oh, how, I did that. Out. Oh, that's right. That's why I went. This uh, question, everything, they actually have a name for it in Temple of Set. It's yeah. called the Black Flame. Mm. We all have the Black Flame in us, which is our desire to 
Search for answers. Search See, for and that boils down to that's just a fucking douchey ass name that's gonna right. be like, yeah, it's edgy would as be a fuck. Great name. If for that a, word had hair, it would have a fucking emo bang. Great name for a band. If that if that term was a person, it would be Pete Wentz from Fallout Boy. Yes. Didn't he date uh, one of the Simpson sister? I think so. I think they were married. I think. He also had a dong picture come out on the internet back in the day. Okay. Okay, let's get into magic and rituals. Aquino believed magic was an important part of their followers' development and stating it causes change through will. Uh, the temple set practices what they call black magic. Uh, he felt black magic was pretty much just changing and, or affecting the universe. According to um, This is according to Aquino. So a lot of people think black magic bad, white magic good. No, the, well, the pagan, I mean, let's be real. The black, pagan, bad, white, good. The pagan has version. a lot of fucking representation in right. life. Period. Right, but the pagan version, black magic is affecting other people. Uh, white magic is not. Basically, I'm sure some Wiccas, Wiccans out there are fucking yelling at the fucking phones or the screens. Yeah, but anyway, maybe we'll have a pagan or a Wiccan priestess or whatever they're called on someday uh where was it uh he felt white magic was pretty much nonsense it, and i'm going to quote him i highly I, it's a highly concentrated form of conventional religious ritual is what he said white magic is which kind of goes along with what i was saying prayer mm-hmm. okay uh he put more stock he didn't put any stock in it because it was less difficult and full of self-delusion, it's really more like the law of attraction, which even his magic that he was practicing, the so-called black magic, I mean, basically law of attraction and manifestation, still mm-hmm. the same thing. Um, now, we talked about earlier that he was in the PSYOP program with the military. There have been many f- former members of the Temple of Set basically said they were brain, he was brainwashing people mm-hmm. which most cult leaders do and most organized all organized religion there is some form of brainwashing involved yeah when you got white women fucking crying and going yes it's all yes. it's all the same. well you're just singing the same fucking song you sang last service yes <laughs> what the hell was that it's chalupa damn Anyway, but, you know, Temple of Set is just, it's just how you view things. It's just, Satanism, is that really Satanism? Technically, yes, but not. You know what I'm saying? Potato, potato. I mean, it's not really Satanist because they don't believe Satan is a real thing. Are we still, in the chat, are we having a, did I start a Kentucky Fried Chicken, pop yep. a chicken war? Yep. Not a war. Just everybody letting everybody know, hey, man, you're in my part of town. This is where you get chicken. There'll be no fighting over fast food chicken restaurants in the chat either. Pollo frita. All right. Now, this is where this shit gets interesting. We are winding down here a little bit. and But this is going to take up some time. I mentioned earlier about the satanic panic. Aquino was a key player in this. Uh, satanic ritual abuse... Um, was very, I don't want to say prominent, but the fear of it was very prominent in the 80s and early 90s. Fear me, mortal. We've talked about this in the past, West Memphis Street. That was satanic yep. panic. And the modern day witch hunt, if you will. Uh, basically, it claims satanic worship, and these groups were doing a lot of nefarious things to people, mm-hmm. animals, a lot of kidnappings, a lot of murder, which sex, child sex abuse, uh, general abuse in general, or sex abuse in general, um, so like I said, sacrifice. The, the Temple of Set and the Church of, Sa- of Ch- Church of Satan took this on the chin, and they were thought to, because they were the, the big dogs. I'm doing that, a thing. In the time frame, they were the ones everybody heard of and knew of. They obviously... You know, they, they took most of this shit. Now, let's... Anim, 
and I did not. I was not aware animal mutilations was a real big part of this. You never, I've never heard this before. Yeah, but uh, most people generally asso- associate animal mutilations with the UFO phenomenon. Uh, however, during the Satanic Panic, I did a thing. What'd you do? I've been upgrading our people. Upgrading to what? We have more moderators now. Jesus Christ, we're gonna. I was about ready to kick all the moderators, take all the shit away from them. We only have one. We have, I see two now. Well, we have three in total. I was about ready to take, everybody was going to lose their moderators. Yeah, but they're actually intelligent. They won't be timing people out for five minutes at a time. Nobody times anybody out, anybody out unless we say so. Just don't, well, we did say so. He just clicked on the wrong fucking one, idiot. Anyway, where was I? He's not here to defend himself, so stupid. (laughs) Okay, several towns. Uh, on the, this is on record, and I was I did I went deep on my research on this one. First time for everything. Yes, not uh, the research part. But several towns recorded devil worship as cattle mutilations in nineteen forty or nineteen eighty four. Edinburgh, Illinois, attributed mutilations to a teenage satanic cult. Uh, nineteen eighty six, Modesto, or Modesto, yeah, Modesto, California, felt devil worshiping was responsible for some more animal mutilations. It just wasn't animal mutilations being called out. Nothing was safe during the satanic panic. Yeah. I mean, everything got fucking called out. People started blaming everything on Satan. They were seeing Satan everywhere. Rock music, which, you know, this is my generation. It's the devil's music. Uh, In 1985, police in Holland, Ohio, that's just outside Toledo, I'm embarrassed to say, raided and confiscated rock records claiming they promoted satanic activity. Go fuck yourself. Eat like literally eat all the dicks. Go go somewhere, find a dick farm, plow Please. it, fucking tend to it, raise those dicks long and strong and veiny, and then harvest them, clean them, prepare them so that they're FDA approved dicks, and then put them into a bag and eat the bag. Right. That's what you do with that. Yes. Fucking twat waffles. And like I said, this is my time period. I was in high school in the late 80s, early. I graduated in 91. So two years in the 80s, two years, or three years in the 80s, one year in the 90s. I remember the whole play things backwards and get some, like, her stairway to heaven. Yeah. And you just, you, the only thing you hear is because somebody told you you'll hear this thing and your mind goes, well, I can kind of hear it. I didn't hear shit. All right. I know. I mean, I remember somebody did it in the, in the locker room one day. I was like, I don't hear nothing. Oh, no. I don't hear nothing. The bad juju. And like we've talked about, re- referred to earlier, what was uh, West, West Memphis 3? Was it 93? 92? Yeah. 93, something like that. But the what really kicked off the satanic panic... Oh, hold on. Before I get into that, games weren't even fucking safe from the satanic panic. Yeah. I'm not talking... What is that? Uh, what's the game? Here's how fucking old I am. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. We're talking real satanic shit. Just not beating up hookers. Dungeons and fucking dragons. Oh, my God. Yeah, because Tom Hanks was in a fucking like, after school special movie about Dungeons and Dragons. And yeah. It had a religious back, like a religious uh, undertone. Uh, in 1988, Lancaster, Wisconsin. Let's go back to my Wisconsin rant from last week or Wednesday. Accused players of Dungeons and Dragons of animal mutilation and baby sacrifice. Of course, they were practice, practicing some kind of satanic ritual because, no, how about they were just fucking dorks that couldn't get laid? Right. Like, d and is still a fucking thing. It's still very popular. Like, yeah, you're kind of, it, it's a bit nerdy, but, I mean, more power to you if you have fun doing it. I play Pokemon Go. Like, I don't know. Fuck it. Like, everybody has their thing. Doesn't mean it gets fucking satanic. What? Oh, no. Uh, what? Are you talking about? I was just reading the chats. That extra person? Who could it be? I don't know. Who could be the necessary evil in the chat? Who it is you? I. Really? Is that you? Yes. I changed my name just in case I have to fucking flame somebody. And that is good advice. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Sure. We'll go with that. Uh, it is. Looks, looks like we're fucking, we're freezing up again. Uh, there, uh, we're back to Fuck it. Anyway. Now, what really, most people associate the satanic panic with 
child abuse and child sex. Mm-hmm. Okay, which I'm sure some of it. Oh, that's a big part. I'm of it. sure they, they, there's truth to all things in one way, shape, or form in one point in time of that thing. But what really kicked it off was the Presidio of Satanic Sex Abuse Accusations. Now, Presidio was a military base in California. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aquino got caught up in the Satanic Panic in this uh, Presidio shit. Aquino was in, mil- was in the military at this time and had owned a home near the Presidio base at the time. A daughter of a military chaplain said she was sexually abused at a daycare on the base, which is common actually i think this is the one the most popular one the one everybody talks about i think mick martin or something like that i'm mick martin they sounds like a guy that got drawn and quartered in the 1200s in scotland right naturally they started an investigation and other kids came forward as well (coughs) excuse me the children said they were taken to a house near the base supposedly one of the kids pointed out aquino's house when they were driving around okay aquino denied this account and said he was suspected only because of his uh, involvement in found, founding the Temple of Set Religion, and he looked scary, which what we've alluded to throughout this whole fucking podcast. His shitty fucking eyebrows. They're so bad. Yes. O- the only thing worse than that is the um, handlebar mustache, which basically that's all it was for eyebrows. I would much prefer a handlebar mustache than that. Yes. Uh, one of the kids said they called the male abuser Mikey, which naturally fits. But the kid's name for the woman did not fit Aquino's wife at the time, and her name was, get this, Lilith. Couldn't be real. Had not, it could not be her real name. She had to change that shit to meet because it was more, you know, of who Lilith represents in whatever religion or he specifically sought a person out with that name who named your kid Lilith? that's like somebody named a kid adolf now ain't happening i'm sure they're out there oh i no. there's nobody named adolf there's nobody been named adolf since 1942 go on that was born after 1940 i'll say 45 hey siri has anybody been named adolf since the end of world war ii Okay, I found this on the web for has anybody been named Adolf since the end of World War II. Check it out. What do you got? It? What? Your voice for it. Check it out, homeboy. Oh, I love it. Uh, there was a William Stewart Houston who named his son Alexander Adolf in 1949. But William's original name was William Hitler. He was Adolf's nephew. Wow, Okay. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. The in English speaking countries the short term alf short form alf is more popular. Bitch, alf ain't been popular since 88 with a fucking puppet alien with which I believe Nikki Cox was in that show. Who was I'm going to eat all these cats. Alf. Anyway, uh <laughs> Where was I? At? It has been reported that kids pointed out things in the house that did fit Aquino's house, like swords on the wall. But I have a problem with this. Being mm. he was in the military and it was near base, most military people personnel do decorate their house with things like swords and guns and shit like that. It's kind of a thing because mm-hmm. they're in the military. Yeah, you know. So m- my guess is Aquino wasn't the only person to have swords on his uh wall which aquino did have an av- a, a vast sword collection he particularly world war ii area era swords mainly nazi swords if i read correctly mm. uh sounds like the military at this time did not want this to get out uh they seem to push the issue cover up the, i don't want to say cover up but they didn't push too hard on this investigation because mm-hmm. it was a pr nightmare and the press would fucking crucify them in the news but the presidio was not the only case throughout the u.s there were around 60 or so cases reported throughout the u.s and may, many of these were very close or even on military bases mm. sounds like a military problem to me mm. uh, aquino was never 
officially charged, I don't think. And his wife was never charged. I know his wife never charged. I well, believe- yeah, how are you going to charge the mother of demons? <laughs> yes. I don't... Don't he might have been charged, but I don't. He never served any time, or they just never. They never pursued it. They didn't put him in Quantico. No, uh, Aquino did. There were there was a lawsuit. I guess he tried to s- sue, and the judge shot that shit down. Apparently, he said, "Fuck you, get out of here with your stupid goddamn eyebrows, fuck face." Now, people during the eighties were losing their mind over this shit, and things like the West Memphis three arose from this. And we've talked about this in the past constantly, really that this way of thinking in this, I don't want to say ignorance, but this blind, ignorance. blindness that people had ignorance did more damage than fucking good. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just one of those. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's what happens when just because you don't understand something, it gets, it, Damn, both our chairs are fucked nowadays. I know. But that's what happens when just because we don't have a proper understanding of something, we then in turn automatically, without thinking twice, demonize it. Right. I need to. I need to. With the exception of some things. Right. I mean, it's just Like one- pedophilia. Always going to be bad. Don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm, oh my son says, I'm not disagreeing. I, I, was, I was busy. Whatever you say. Anyway. No, pedophilia, bad. Yes. Rape, bad. Yes. Murder. Situational. Yes. I. Murder is not always a bad thing. I Self-defense, good. If it's done in self-defense or in defense of others, I can justify it. Or maybe a Kevorkian situation. Yes, because we could be cavorting my ass any day now. I'm getting old. We might do it live. You think YouTube Where's the would, paperwork? You think YouTube would ban us? Cut the stream if I let you cavorting me live on stream? Oh, no, but even then, I'm going to start another channel, and then when I come back, my backdrop's going to have a stuffed fill in the corner. Just pop me up. I'm going to have him just... I'm going to perfectly fucking stuff him and mount him so that I can just reach back and put my beer in your hand, and then when I need it again, I grab it out. But or I'll but, put your arm on an actuator like one of those old light up neon signs of the cowboy, <laughs> like big Tex in Texas. Yeah, getting back to Aquino though, I'm pretty much done. That's pretty much all we got. Let's just kind of okay, bye. Let's, have, no, let's, let's kind of summarize this synopsis. I fall under, I'm guilty of this myself, looking at people mm-hmm. and judging. Yeah. I say all the time, everybody's like, I don't judge people. Yes, you do. Everybody we judges all it. judge people. It's just, A, what judgment we make. B, and most importantly, whether we continue taking that judgment in regard or in how we use that judgment and carry on with it in regard to our our relationship and ability to get to know that person. Because even if they walk in here like, man, I like I saw those shoes in blue and I liked them better. That's still a fucking judgment. Right. We all do it. It's just whether or not you go, fuck that dude's orange shoes. Fuck him and his stupid fucking orange shoe wearing face. That piece of shit. I don't want to be his friend. That's where it becomes a problem. Uh oh. What? Oh. What? I was. We went black for a minute. That's never good. The screen went black. How did it go black, Phil? Then everything we've been taught is wrong and a lie because it went black and it has now, in fact, gone back. Wow, I just I thought. And it. we've all been taught that once something goes black, it does not return. That's just women with sex. You know, you never hear that about Asians, though. I don't know. I've had a black car the last two cars I bought. I've had. I don't think I've had any black cars actually. Racist trying to think oh well you got a white truck though <laughs> I got a white truck i had a work truck that was you know back in the day that was white black i don't black. know i saw a really good bumper sticker i'm all for like acceptance and shit like that but i saw this lgbt sticker on this shitty old truck and although i seems like an idiot because of how 
because of this sticker, I'll at least give them creativity points because it was actually kind of funny. It said LGBT, and underneath the L was the Statue of Liberty. Underneath the G was a gun. Underneath the T, or underneath the B was a beer. And underneath the T was a silhouette of Donald Trump. So wait. I was like, you're probably a piece of shit, but it, I'll give you creativity points at least. Yes. But I getting back to, I'm guilty. Like, Aquino, he did, like I said, play, the, look the part. Because like I said, in his appearance on Upper Winfrey back in the 80s, mm-hmm. wearing black, uh, the Eddie Munster fucking haircut. You know what's terrible about that situation is the fact that going on Oprah actually legitimizes him even more. Because it's Oprah. It's not like he went on Springer All or right. fucking Ricky Lake. It's probably Jesse Raphael back then. Uh, 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 Geraldo. Geraldo Rivera. I did in my search of uh, the Satanic Panic, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, there I, there was only one person arrested in all of the Satanic child uh, uh, sexual abuse cases. Yeah. And the case, the, the, it got dropped. Nobody ever went to jail over that shit. And it was kind of proven to be mass hysteria. It didn't really, I don't, from what I've read, it didn't, they could never prove that it actually, there was actual abuse going on. Hmm. Now, with, so don't shoot me. I don't know this. This is just what I read. But with the military suppressing it, I don't know. But I did read Geraldo did the special on it, and we talked about it. He did. He did like a made-for-TV movie. Yeah, and he ended up having to actually apologize. Yeah, because he's a fucking cock. I mean, that motherfucker in the age was apologizing for everything. Did he? Get yeah, because all he right? did was see ratings and then fuck up. Did he get anything fucking right? I was pissed off. I I watched that shit live, the Al Capone vault thing. I remember mm-hmm. that shit in the eighties. Yeah, I watched that shit. I was in my bedroom, fucking nice waterbed, just was rocking and throbbing hard cock, and watching that shit in a little fucking TV. This you know, thirteen inch TV. Mm-hmm. I was like, you the kind that you plug into a cigarette lighter, you. Dickhead. That was the biggest cock tease ever. The only good thing that ever come from Geraldo was his mustache. No, I put his mustache on the same screen or same level as fucking Aquino's eyebrows. <clears throat> More Morton Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. <laughs> yes, I remember that. And then Maury, Maury, Steve Wilkos. Do you know, speaking of Maury. You know where he did all the DNA tests, where he had all the DNA testing done Mm-mm. for you are not the father. No? Right down off uh, Crescentville Road. Really? Yeah, DNA diagnostic. Uh, that's where it used to be because I used to do work for uh, back in the day. You heard it here fo- first, folks. If you don't think that kid's yours, go down to DNA diagnostics. I think they're probably out of business now. Well, then don't. Go right. fuck <laughs> yourself and just assume that it's not yours and love it slightly differently and a little bit less than when the Maury, rest of the kids. When Maury got canceled, <laughs> they went out of business. Did Maury get... Yeah, I guess he did. Wasn't he married to one of the... I don't fucking know. One of the news, the Asian uh, news anchors. The one from uh, Family Guy? We go to Asian news anchor Michelle Kwan or whatever the fucking name is. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, tonight in... Well, hog. One of them. I, I like know. the black uh, weatherman on Family Guy. He's uh, like, I don't know how they get away with some of these stereotypical parts in TV shows. He said, we go straight to Ali, our black and weatherman, <laughs> to, for a report on the new, on the weather tonight. He said, how's it looking out there, Ali? It's going to rain. It's literally it. And then it just, uh, thanks, Ali. I don't know. That's all I got on Aquino. I don't know. What do you think? What's your opinion? I think he's just as much of a fucking asshole as all the rest of them. He's just as much of an asshole as Anton LaVey. He's just as much of an asshole as L. Ron Hubbard. He's just as much of an asshole as fucking uh, Joel Osteen. He's, uh, all of them. He's just as, he's slightly less of an asshole than that one televangelist that like literally said he needed donations so he could update his private jet. Hey, at least he's fucking honest. Piece of shit. I'm telling but yet you. people can't find a problem with fucking modern religion. Religion is fine. You believe what you want, but modern religion is fucking horse cock. Right. It's just a money hungry fuck off fest. They, they say that's the quickest the quickest way to make a million dollars. Start a religion. Oh, I'm sure. You should, I'm, 
GIT and religion. I'll fucking do it. I'll preach to our, the masses. Well, we already have a cult. We have. Four. And Travis said unto his fi- followers, "Fuck you." Anyway, uh, so I think that's going to wrap up. Unless you got anything you want to add? No. We kept this one short. We will be back Wednesday for sure. Yes. Uh, there's some things well, I want to talk about. Or you want to talk? We can talk about one right now. I'm dying to talk. Yeah, about. our times are probably going to change. Oh, what time? Uh, maybe eight, maybe. Well, that's what time? You mean even on Sunday? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm well, going back to probably 60, 65 hours a week again. Well, that's fine. Sunday, Sunday's fine. Um, There's one thing. Let, we, let's talk about what, give a preview of what we do for uh, What the Fuck Wednesdays. What the Fuck Wednesdays. Did you hear it's about- It's pretty self-explanatory. But let's talk about this story since we, we you know, we went a little early. Uh, Shocker. Which, yeah. But we, went a little early. Boom. Phrasing. Story of my life. Story of yes, my life. Yes, also that. A lot of disappointed women out there. Mike Tyson. Did you see that video? Him punching that guy on the airplane? No. I'm going to after this, though. We'll talk about We'll go in depth about it. Excellent. Day. But apparently some motherfucker was talking shit to him on an airplane. Why Why would you talk shit to Mike Tyson? Exactly. How drunk or stoned do you have to be to talk shit to Michael, Mike fucking Tyson, even though he's, what, 55, 56 now? Still, I don't give a fuck. He's still Mike Tyson. That's like that's like deciding to play tug of war with a fucking T bone with a goddamn Siberian tiger. You just don't do it. Yes, because he was actually on Rogan last week. I think I listened to some of it. letting that fucking tiger sleep in his bed. Yeah. Well, you know, Joe Rogan, when you have the mindset that I had in the 90s and in the late 80s, and you just have all the money in the world coming at you from all these directions, and as you know, when I was a young man, uh, I was I was blessed with the presence of Cuth D'Amato, and, and Cuth was like a father to me, and after Cuth died... I just lost my way, and then Don Don King he was just he was just floating money into my bank accounts, and I had the money to buy the tigers, and I bought the tigers, and then I, I took the tigers and I put them in the bed with me, because I'm Mike Tyson. No, I will not die to a tiger. I'm not a pussy. That's like that's like dying from a tornado. You got to be a bitch to die from wind, bro. I mean, how bad of a mother? I don't get a good night's sleep. Anyway, but I sure the fuck ain't getting a good night's sleep if I got a fucking tiger sleeping next to me. What Who knows? Maybe that purr is just hypnotic. Well, if it's like me, what wakes up with a, you know a little hungry at two, three o'clock in the morning? What's yeah, what happens when it wakes up pissed because it's sleeping next to Mike Tyson? And all due respect to Mike Tyson, but he's got a nice little gap between his teeth. What if every time he exhales, a... I just think that's a recipe for disaster myself. He said, I'll fuck you. I'll fuck you in the ass in prison, bitch. Yes, but this guy apparently, we'll play the. My mother fell down the stairs. I didn't we'll, push her. I'll get the screen share back up and running, and we will play the, that uh, clip of him and that guy. You're going to play the clip of Mike Tyson hitting an individual on an airplane. But how stupid do you have to be? But it happens all the fucking time. People want to test. Well, well the thing is, Phil, is when you come up in the hard streets of new york in the 70s and you you get bullied and then you learn you go and you find a guy like cuss D'Amato, and he teaches you how to punch to the other side of somebody's face <laughs> literally and figuratively then you live your life knowing that you can put your fist through another man's face well i went back and watched i've i do that every now and then i'll go down a rabbit hole on mm-hmm. youtube and just watching Mike Tyson a knocking motherfuckers ago, out. A couple of weeks, I went on, you know, his just watching some of his clips and shit. That motherfucker swung with bad, and he didn't throw that little. He was not me. That, yeah, that no. little fucking spacing jab, you know, just to time it up and get distance. Fuck no, he was he swung with bad. It's those those tension. are the videos that you have to make sure, like, you can't watch those videos if you're a male and you live in an apartment complex, because if it's a twelve minute video, every twelve times throughout that video, about every minute, all you're just you're just gonna be a grown man on the fucking couches. Uh, but that's like I remember the Sphinx fight. I watched the Sphinx fight. Mm-hmm. I used to love watching when it. he like murdered that dude, and that fucker just quit. 
the mm-hmm. hit, the punch that knocked him through the ropes basically didn't even land that hard. It wasn't he got mm-hmm. tagged earlier and you got dropped, but the punch that finished it, it was a gla- glancing blow. That motherfucker just said, I'm fucking out. I'm done. But I remember I didn't see the Buster Douglas fight live, but I remember that night. Mm-hmm. You know, back in, I've I was, seen it. I, I've seen it. I saw it after the fact, the replay of it. But that night, I, I'll never, Phil watched it a replay, and he just <laughs> she just knocked the mic to the wall. That's what happens. What I just did to this microphone is what Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, this microphone, this is microphone Tyson. This I've, microphone just microphone Tyson punched its fist through the other side of this wall's face. But I was in high school at the time, and all right. But, you know, we used to loiter at certain locations. Mm-hmm. I won't give any free advertisement to those people. Well, of course, it's not there anymore. You probably, you know right where I mm-hmm. On Tajville Road? Yeah. The old, yeah. oh, fuck it, the old McDonald's. Mm-hmm. You remember where the McDonald's was on the other mm-hmm. side of the street? Yeah. That was our hangout on Friday nights after football games. Yeah. And after games, we all go. Team That's games. lame. Then we got kicked out of there. They kept calling cops, so we went to the parking lot at the corner where Taco Bell is and mm-hmm. the big lots and yeah. all that. We hung out there. But that's I was, fucking lame. My. It just is. Oh, it's fucking awesome, man. Of, Sounds like it. A lot of shit went down, baby. <laughs> Occasionally, fight breakout, we go to a, another location. Oh, actually, I could tell this story on here. That was, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. I'll tell this story. Indulge me here. I was in college. I was on break. And you came back and hung out in the parking lot with your high school friends? Uh, Creepy. I, it was, no, it was, I, I want to say, yeah, I, actually what happened? Fuck, with I Mike Tyson prom, there? I went like two proms after I graduated high school. Because I, I was a player like that. Let's see. I got nothing. I had, I had all kinds of women back then. I used to have a lot of women back in those days. Like I said earlier on Wednesday, I didn't have a game back then. Now, not so much, <laughs> which is apparent. But uh, I came back from college, you know, I was playing football at the time, so mm-hmm. I was working out five, six, seven days a fucking week. Pretty yoked at that time. And so me and a buddy went up, we went we went up there, just hanging out, talking to some people we knew. Two guys were going to get in a fight. Didn't like either one of the motherfuckers. So we went to a local school nearby, which you know the school, I won't mention it. It's yeah. the school right there. The school, mm-hmm. my junior high, where I went to junior high, mm-hmm. went to the football field. So we... There's a subdivision right, yeah. And I used to live in that subdivision mm-hmm. back in the day. So we parked. And there was a bridge that walked across the creek to get to the school. So we parked in the subdivision because we're smart. It's a fast getaway. First just, time that's been said. Just just in case shit gets real. So we walk across. We're walking as we're walking. I'm seeing cars in the park in the school parking lot at like 11:30 at night. Mm-hmm. I'm like this, and there's people in the cars. I'm like this ain't fucking good. This ain't this ain't fucking good. So we walk to the field. We're walking toward down the fence line, you know, the course right there. I pass the fence, and all of a sudden, here come the fucking cops. Yeah. So we Sounds all, about right. We all uh, start running. So fuck it, I'm out. And I was fast back in those days. But a fucking cop caught me and had his fucking billy club or nightclub or whatever out. And I was ahead of the guy I was with because I was yeah. faster than that motherfucker, which I shouldn't have been, but I, I was fast. And he said, get on the fucking ground. So I said, okay, got on the ground. I was with two other guys. And they're behind me. And so I'm laying on the ground in a guy in a Corvette, which you probably know the guy. I'll tell you off the, had a Corvette, you mm-hmm. know, like an 80 Corvette. And, he, you know, he had a remote start. So he had that motherfucker fired up before he even got to the motherfucker, hopped in. And he was pulling out because he was dumb and parked in the parking lot. He was pulling out. The cop left me and uh, was trying to stop him in the car. Mm-hmm. And my buddies at that time came up. They were catching up. He said, I said, what the fuck are you doing? Get up. I looked and said, I'm fucking up. I'm out of here. Right. But what more of the story is when a cop has a fucking billy club, I didn't want him ride, ride the king in my ass. Oh, yeah. But it was fucking hilarious. I'll never forget that night. We ran across the bridge and got the fuck out of Dodge. Then they fought. times. The, then apparently they fought the next day and we went and watched the lamest fucking fight I ever saw in my they life. They usually are. Motherfucker thought it was a fucking Bruce Lee. Got his ass fucking whooped. Yeah, I mean, most most high school fights are trash fights. It's all fucking t- 
testosterone and just like misplaced anger. <laughs> oh, Gregory wants to know. I think I think we should just call it cult. I know what we thought. The podcast formerly no, known as TP cult. cult. The TP cult. Travis and Phil. Yes. Or toilet or, paper. Or shit. Hmm. Booty wipe is an, booty wipes anonymous. But we have uh, if you want to join the cult and be like Gregory, I think who else is Gregory Shakespeare? Jenny's in the cult. Isn't there a fourth? Is David? Are you in the cult? I think David's in the cult. Well, you're Jessica, in the cult the, now, David. Jessica that was in the cult, the chat earlier is in the cult now. Yes. Officially, got a couple of the cult members. If you are listening to this and you want to join our cult, it's a non-sexual cult. I don't for, believe in sex for now. Sex is a non-entity. Just send us an email at gitmpodcast at gmail.com. That's the one I don't have access to, so send it to that one so he has to deal with it. Oh, I, I'm busy erasing fucking emails all day anyway. Oh, I, I know. My email on my phone says I, like 93,000. From ours? No, just in general. Are I don't you, know if Moon Unit's in the cult or not. I don't think Moon Unit. But if you want to be in the cult, again, go right. to patreon.com backslash GITN podcast. <laughs> uh, and remember, anybody who's here, I know I haven't seen Moon Unit in a while. If anybody, it, again, I'm going to stop pushing this soon. But for anybody who didn't know, we did figure out, and we are reiterating, you do have to go to the actual patreon.com backslash GITN podcast. You have to go to the actual link. To be a, become, a, become a supporter of the podcast. Because you can't search us because since we have explicit content, it will not show on search results on Patreon. Yes. So if you want to support the podcast. Do that. Do that. Just like Jessica C. did. I might. I might even make make a buy me a coffee. Ghost for people that cult. just want to throw some one time things. Ghost in the cult. That's that's a decent name. Cult of the night. <laughs> ghost cult. Mm. Ghost cult. Mm. Cult ghost. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. We'll come. Uh, up, I'll come up with something fantastic. Don't forget, you can follow us on all of our social media: Instagram at ghost underscore night underscore podcast. Twitter at night underscore ghost, uh, Facebook, uh, ghost in the night, just easy search it. I know, uh, Jessica's follows, follows us there. I think David follows us there. I believe well. so. Yes. David is in the cult. Yes. Cause he is a Patreon member. Cult. Cult. Uh, and TikTok at G I T N dot podcast. I promise I'll post stuff. If you, hey, I, I posted, I post I posted on, Chalupa. I post shit on mine. I posted Chalupa. It's our most popular talk so far. And if you want to follow my personal one, you have to do some research. Find out. <laughs> Actually, I think Tyler found me. I think it's not hard. You have a picture of yourself, and you're all one of our followers. Oh, and there's not that many followers on our TikTok. You're you're catching up to me. I do. I don't understand how TikTok works. I, I cannot don't. wrap my head around it. I don't know how one can get three views and the other one get three thousand. Right. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, so that's how you can find us, get a hold of us. Uh, we, we, we'll be back Wednesday for What the Fuck Wednesday. We'll talk about Mike Tyson. I'll have, try to have the clip up and running. Mike Tyson. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some other fun topics to discuss. Uh, next week, I think, is Men in Black. Mm-hmm. Oh, Men in Black's next week. Uh, Ed, and then Ed Kemper's following that. Old Ed Kemper. <clears throat> Going to talk about decapitated <laughs> mouth fucking. And I was in communication with the paranormal team. Yes. Leader, and she is coming on live. At Minicams.com? Uh, no, on, no, on our uh, She knows who we are, right? We'll find out. She knows what kind of people we are? Uh, she knows what kind of people I am. You, I don't, you're a pleasant surprise. So, like, can we get into the live, like, are we, are we Zooming with this person? Oh, uh, probably just be filmed. But it's going to be live. So you might have to be on your back. I'm here with my co-host, Travis. What the fuck is up? What's your name? Do you like motels? Do you like balloons? No, this is the one that has a haunted location, too, that I wanted to uh, try to get to, which we might try to get to. Mm. I don't think it's going to work out for the trip. Yeah. Because uh, they're booked up. Well, balls. So maybe this summer we'll try to, maybe July or so, we'll try to. Try to take a shit in their bathroom. Sweet. 
And maybe we're going right again. What the fuck? Maybe we'll try it. to go live from there. I don't fucking know. Fuck it. We're ending it anyway. Yep. So, we're ending it all. And then. Uh, Doomsday call. There's another topic I was brought up to me today I want to cover. I'll, mm-hmm. bring it to, I'll, talk, I'll bring it to your attention. We'll talk about it uh, after the show. But I think that's going to wrap it up. We thank you for checking it in. If you are listening to this on either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Podbean, Podbean, Google Podcasts, your mom's Blackberry, ever, however you take in a podcast and you want to join in live, just go to youtube.com slash ghost in the night. Yes. And you can watch live while we make the magic happen and also subscribe and hit the bell and like and all that happy shit. So if you haven't liked this video, you're still here, like it. And just know that I'm never wearing pants. I don't believe in them. He's not. Trust me. I don't believe in pants. Bigfoot so, real pants fake. Thank you. Moon unit. Thank you, David. Thank you, Gregory. Uh, Lamont was even in here. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, who else? Jenny was in here. My mother was in here, but I'm sure we ran her off because she can't take Travis. Uh, who else was in here? Uh, A lot of people. Necessary Evil. I really want to thank that person. You're welcome. Uh, there was uh, is Lindsay. Is that? Yeah. Hi. Bye. Hi, Lindsay. Welcome. Obviously, that person liked the uh, Popeye's talk. Uh, who else? Moon Unit, as always. Shakespeare. Uh, who else? Rhyme Clops. Yeah, we had a couple new names. Yeah, a here. couple of names. We like the names. And always Jessica. Uh, let's see here. I think that's it. I think we got them. I think Tyler. we got them. Tyler. Oh, of course, Tyler. We're gonna have to give it Tyler. I want. I still want to hear his story. Yeah, he still wants. I think he still wants to meet us for a drink, which I'm cool with. I'm cool. All right, we will see you on Wednesday for the What the Fuck Wednesday, and then we will see you next Sunday as well. So take care. We love you. Bye, my darlings. Go get, go get-